and four cookies, and I ate two of them proportionately because I eat. You had four cookies, and you ate two, and then you got to cross multiply that. Two. You ate, f you ate fifty percent of your cookie. One of the saddest days of my life was when my mother told me Superman did not exist. I was a, a, a comic book reader, and I read comic books, and I just loved them because even in the depths of the ghetto, you just thought. He's coming, I just don't know when, because he always shows up and he saves all the good people and they never end up. I was reading, I don't know, maybe I was in the fourth grade. My mother, I was like, you know, Mom, you think Superman's up? Should... Superman is not real. I was like, he's not. What do you mean he's not? No, he's not real. And she thought I was crying because it's like Santa Claus is not real. And, and I was crying because there was no one coming with enough power to save us. Every morning it's the same. Juice, shoes, backpack. The morning ritual. And with it comes the uneasy feeling. No matter who we are or what neighborhood we live in, each morning, wanting to believe in our schools, we take a leap of faith. In 1999, I made a documentary about public school teachers. Plus, plus. What number is that? Daddy. One plus seven equals eight. And I spent an entire school year watching them dedicate their lives to children. Friday. You need to start doing better on these tests, okay? So write these all the other ones. These teachers embodied a hope and carried with them a promise that the idea of public school could work. Ten years later, it was time to choose a school for my own children. And then reality set in. My feelings about public education didn't matter as much as my fear of sending them to a failing school. And so every morning, betraying the ideals I thought I lived by, I drive past three public schools as I take my kids to a private school. But I'm lucky. I have a choice. Other families pin their hopes to a bouncing ball, a hand pulling a card from a box, or a computer that generates numbers in random sequence. Because when there's a great public school, there aren't enough spaces. And so we do what's fair. We place our children and their future in the hands of luck. Are you good at school? Yes. Tell me. Well, the school, like, at first I was having difficulties in school, but then that's because I wasn't coming home and studying. And then that's when I just started to study, and I started to pass. And I stayed back one grade, and I was in the second grade. Why did you stay back? Huh? Why? Cause I was good, cause my father had passed. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. What happened? He just died. He took drugs. Mm -hmm. 